Another frustrating day, Burnley fans. Another frustrating sending off. What is going on? A mistake by Murich led to the goal. Otherwise, we could have won this, we could have drawn this. But we have a bad news in the league because Luton won today. 2-1 against Bournemouth gives them 25 points and we still got 19. So we still have to win at least two games to get out of the bottom three and for Luton not to win. Right, this is the 6th of April 2024. This is Let's Talk Burnley Football Club number 132. Everton 1, Burnley nil. Um, 3 o'clock kickoff from Goodison Park. Everton went with a 4-4-1-1 and Burnley went with 4-4-2. The referee was Michael Oliver, well-known referee. Okay, the previous game uh, at Turf Moor uh, on the 16th of December last year, 2023, Burnley nil, Everton 2. Okay, so they've done the double, basically. Our team, Murich, Asignon, O'Shea, Esteve, Taylor, Foster, Cullen, Berg, Braun Larson, Audibert, Forfana. Um, substitutes, Virox in goal, Cork, Goodmanson, Brownhill, Rodriguez, Benson, Mentinio, Anduni, and Del Croxerox. I, I didn't think much was going on in the first half, other than the goal right up to the uh, half-time break. Uh, Burnley had the most of the possession. And in fact, they've had the most of the possession most of the game. And I did hear a commentary uh, say that Burnley uh, were actually on the floor at, at the final whistle. They were spent. They've left everything on the floor. In the last 15 minutes, Burnley were pressing and pressing Everton, but to no avail. Okay, uh, 45th plus two minutes goal. Calvert-Lewis scored a mistake by Murich. I haven't seen it, um, but obviously a mistake um, led to that goal. So that was the only goal of the, uh, the game. So the Burnley stats for half-time was 59% possession. Four shots, only one on target, two corners and five fouls. Uh, Everton's stats was 41% possession, five shots, one on target, two corners and five fouls. Right, the second half, and we start with the substitute 61st minute. Vintinho replaced with Fofana. I don't know why. Is Fofana not well? Is he not performing? I mean, Vintinho is not really a forward as far as I'm concerned, he's a winger. But anyway, he replaces Fafana on the wing. I do, I do believe that's where Fafana was playing. Uh, 67th minute, O'Shea, red card, sent off. I haven't seen the foul. Uh, I don't know whether it was a bad one or what, but it was a straight red card. Uh, 69th minute, substitutes. Now we started with the substitutes. Brown here replaced Bron Larson. Um, an 84th minute, Burnley uh, subs again. Rodriguez replaced Asignon. Amduni replaces Taylor. And Goodmanson replaces Odebert. 90th minute, yellow card for Sanderberg. And that was it. Final score. 1-0 to Everton. Uh, what a shame, really. I mean, if it had kept 10 men, who knows what would have happened. We might have been able to equalise. But the full-time stats, I mean, 63% Burnley's possession. Six shots, one on target, four corners and 13 fouls. Whereas Everton had 37% possession in the second half. 
Uh, 12 shots, 3 on target, 3 corners, 11 fouls. Right, next game. Saturday the 13th of April. We're home to Brighton. Hopefully we can get 3 points from that game. We need 3 points. Uh, 20th of April away at Sheffield. Another chance to get 3 points. And then on the 27th of April we are away at Manchester United. I'm not going to count that one. Um, but we possibly we're going to get at least 6 points. We need those 6 points. If Luton don't win, we might be in a chance. Um, as I said before, Luton beat Bournemouth 2-1. A Sheffield United play tomorrow against Chelsea. Um, and Nottingham Forest play Spurs on Sunday. So now the table, um, 18th position, Luton, played 32, won 6, drawn 7, lost 19, 25 points. Burnley, 19th, played 32, won 4, drawn 7, lost 21, points 19. And bottom, Sheffield United got two games in hand. Um, played 30, drawn 3, drawn, sorry, won 3, drawn 6, lost 21, 15 points. I don't think Sheffield United go any further than the, the bottom. I don't think they're going to get out of the bottom uh, 3. They might, they might get, out, get, get to the 19th position, but I think Burnley need to win two games this month, April. Um, out of out of the um, three games I've just mentioned, um, Burnley need to win at least two of those games. Right. Well, well, that's it. Um, yeah. So the next game is um, home to Brighton. And then we've got away at Sheffield United, and then we're home to Manchester United, and that'll bring us to the end of April. And we've only got, I'm not too sure how many games are left, uh, three maybe. We've got three games in, in May, and, and that is it. That's a lot. So, despondent, I am. Um... We hopefully was it we're going to get a draw or a win from this game, but it wasn't to be, especially if we make mistakes and we get a player sent off. Again, I haven't seen any of this match. Um, the goal, I haven't seen a mistake. I haven't seen the sending off. So I'm making this video straight after listening to the actual match on the radio and uh, um, and just writing down what I could. Well, that's it. Um, hopefully, I'm going to see you next week, next Saturday, um, when we play uh, Brighton at home. Um, yeah. On the Saturday 13th of April. We're hoping for the win there. And who knows, that might spur us on to win some more matches. Well, hopefully. Okay. Well, that's it for now. And come on, lads. Up the clarity. Keep your chins up. We can do this. All the best. Bye-bye for now. Up the clarity.